Well, I've got these radios on the bench. I thought I'd do a quick demo of remotely controlling a couple of radios using the ARCOM 210 controller. So for starters, I've got a UHF VHF radio that I use for half duplex link on UHF. So I'll switch that on using the function code on the ARCOM controller. So you can see the radio turned on and I'll, uh, I've got an HT in my hand, so I'll uh, transmit through that radio. This is wb 6 wb transmitting on 446.075. That's simple enough, so I'll turn that radio back off. And the other radio is a Kenwood TM271A, also interface to the ARCOM. I'll turn that radio on. S receive. Now, by default, this radio is kind of sort of plug and play with the ARCOM controller using the VFO mode to change your frequency. So I'll function that now. So you can see it changed to 4.6. Now, I just got through modifying this radio so I can remotely control the scan, start, and stop function for memory. So this is kind of handy to have pre-programmed memories in the radio and then remotely being able to start and stop the scanning function of the memories. So I'll show you that now. So I'm going to start the scanning. And currently I have about, uh, I think it's 65 memories programmed in there. And then I'll function the scanning to stop. Stop. And so you can see by the number in the upper right hand corner, 27, it just happens at 5 twos in uh, memory channel 27. But still, functioning the ARCOM controller to go to a VFO frequency is as it usually is using the controller. So now it's in the VFO mode, but again, if I just function it to scan memories, it'll pop over to the memory scan. Start. Stop. Two meter radio disconnected. And that's it.